I'm Mina. And I'm Ricardo. Here's what's happening around the bases. On Sunday night, baseball Twitter erupted when Ruffnet Odor It's Rugnet! Bless you! Punch Jose Batista right in the jaw after a dirty slide by Batista. Were they both in the wrong? Probably. Aside from the punch, we actually noticed a few things during the fight. Like Josh Donaldson getting punched midair. Batista's glasses warping into another dimension. And Waldo hanging out with the crowd. Ah, there he is. Gets me every time. Following the punching incident, one of the biggest debates around the internet was whether or not this was really a sucker punch. So after consulting our boxing coach at our local YMCA, we made this PSA to settle the debate. Oh, hello. I'm Mina Park. You might know me from the baseball show. And I'm Ricardo Marquez, also from the baseball show. We took time out of our busy day to show you guys what is a sucker punch. Yeah, like this <laughs> is a sucker punch. Oh, Ricardo, I'm so sorry about that. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> that also is definitely a sucker punch. One way to remember it is if you're squared off and facing each other, it most likely is not a sucker punch. Well, there you have it. Easy enough, right? Yup. Ha <laughs> ha! Amateur hour. <laughs> oh my god, my back! My back! I'm really glad you're okay, Ricardo. Anything for physical comedy. Fresh goes better with men, the fresh and fall alive. Twelve years after getting drafted, Rangers pitcher Matt Bush finally made his major league debut. The 2004 number one pick even spent three years in prison. When Bush was asked how he felt about his debut, he replied, it was just nice to pitch and enjoy the showers for once. Ooh. Is that too much? If you thought that joke was too racy, please leave a comment down below. Fresh goes better with men, the fresh and fall In non-Rangers news, so far the Dodgers haven't really been having the greatest offensive season that many people thought they would have. But instead of panicking or sulking over a mediocre Dodger dog, Yasiel Puig and Kike Hernandez took matters into their own hands. Yup, that's them trying to resurrect their bats by giving them electrotherapy. To learn more about the science behind it all, we sent our Cuban correspondent Steffi Rodriguez to Dodger Stadium. Steffi, uh, what'd you find out about the bats? ¿Cuáles bates? Uh, you know the story about Yasiel Puig and Kike Hernandez? Yo no sé de qué estás hablando, Mina. Okay, uh, is there anything else that you found out? Mmm, sí, me encontré con el Marlins man. Le encanta el color anaranjado. As always, insightful stuff, Steffi. I'm Ricardo. And I'm Mina. And uh, we'll see you next week. Why do fans love her so much? I don't know. She doesn't even do her job right. She is the worst at what she does, and she's not even Cuban. Oh, She's well, Mexican. Have you seen all the tweets that we've been getting? No, we don't get any tweets. Look, at Birdsball says, screw you two, where the hell is Steffi? Oh my god. She went home. <sighs> oh my God, look at this. At Ruffnin Odor, I'd punch for her. Whoa, you wouldn't punch her though, right? Oh, oh that's not good. That's getting a little in strange territory. Ugh. Make sure to comment on this video if that was too far. Fresh goes better with men, the fresh and fall alive. Mentos, the fresh man.